Creative Effects Using Acromagic by Howard Smith, BRM Magazine. Howard Smith from BRM shows you how you can use Acromagic easily. Create puddles and mud, refresh a river water surface, add colour for the added realistic touch. Right, well we're now back in the studio and you'll notice that this is Owens Bridge, a project layout that we constructed in BRM about 12 to 18 months ago depicting a First World War scene, a little bit of a, a river flowing along there, a bit of a woodland area, the track goes around in a simple loop. Now there's one or two things that we can use with our experience that we've just been to see uh, on the river before to improve the little river that we can see here on the diorama, but we can also use the product that I mentioned earlier, this is a new one from Deluxe Materials, Aquamagic, we can also use this to improve and create a few little shallow puddles here around this tent area. There's a lot of mud here, so perhaps there's one or two little puddles we can create with it there. So this is its 250 milliliter bottle of Aquamagic from Deluxe Materials. You can see at the top there a very simple twist solution top. Um, means that accessing the product is very easy. The product is a single part solution, which means there's no messy mixing. Uh, it's directly available to pour from the bottle, ready to go on your layout. This is its 250 milliliter bottle, which is the larger one. It's also available in a smaller 125 milliliter solution. And you can just apply it straight to your baseboards, scenery, whatever you want as it is. Or you can mix it with acrylic paints, as we'll be demonstrating later on, to create a different hue in the effect of your water. And that's specifically more interesting than, say, your bog standard resin yacht varnish type solutions which once you apply are pretty much committed to using them as they are. It's touch dry in around 24 to 48 hours, depending on how thick you lay the, the layer. And it's recommended that you don't apply any more than three millimeters at a time. This is purely because any more than three millimeters and it won't dry. So do go carefully with this. Anyway, it doesn't smell at all, very easy to use. So let's get started. I'm going to create a few little puddles here down by this camp area. So we'll just open up the top there and get started. So just go steady when you are applying the product. So maybe we've got one puddle there. Uh, let's see, maybe there's a, there's a bit of a low spot here. It's just thick enough to form a little blob on the surface, not quite thin enough though to spread out and this is where you'll need something along the lines of a paintbrush just to make sure that you get an even spread of the product. It's You can wash it, your brushes out with water afterwards so you won't be ruining any brushes by doing this but just make sure that you don't spread it out too much. You get a little bit of a, a layer there to get the uh, sheen on the surface. and whilst the product is drying you can play around with it a little bit so as it starts to dry it will start to form a little film on the surface and gradually get harder and harder which will allow you if you want with a paintbrush or a spatula or something just to play around and create a bit of texture so for instance it could be a windy day you might have a few ripples on the surface or it could be I don't know you could have a little bird having a bath there for instance and there's a few ripples coming out from the center do look at it from different angles as well when you've, um, when you've applied it, just to make sure that you're completely happy with it. And uh, leave it to dry. Now, once we've finished doing the puddles, this is the more interesting area to focus on. This is the river. And as we showed earlier, there are different effects that you can create with a river. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of uh, Deluxe Materials Aqua Magic, and we'll mix it up with a little bit of acrylic paint very, very thin amount, uh, just to create different hues in the colour that we're going to apply over this resin. And you can see the resin hasn't got a great deal of sheen to it. This is a layout that's also been around to a few shows by now. It's got a little bit dusty and it's past its best, so you can refresh a water effect or a river using this product very easily. Just apply a thin layer and hey presto, it looks like brand new. Let's get started. The easiest way to do this is just to get it straight out of the bottle, no messing there. You can see it's, it's quite thick, very similar to a gel almost. 
main aim at the moment is just to get an even spread of the product all over the base of the river and then we'll go over later with our uh, paintbrush and just start to work this into a, something that resembles a level surface. You can see just under the uh, little bridge here there's a bit of a dip that was created previously by the resin. Um, so that's something we're going to look to keep. Uh, we'll make a little bit of a feature out of that with some perhaps a little bit of rapid water there just for variety. So careful as we approach the end. Now, if you are applying a slightly deeper section of water, say perhaps up to the three millimeter limit, you might want to put something along the edge of your board um, just here to protect it, to prevent any product slipping off and down the front of your baseboard. We're going to go quite easy towards the end here. The main, the main aim of the goal at the moment is just to refresh the surface of this river. So we're not looking for any um, you know, massive amount of depth to add to the layout. It's literally just to refresh the surface and give this layout a new lease of life. All right, I think that's about an even spread. So let's just twist the top there, stop the product from drying, and now let's go in with the paintbrush. All we're doing here is just creating an even spread to make sure that Aqua Magic is over the entire surface of the river. and it will self-level. You just have to bear with it a little bit. I mean, rivers are never completely flat anyway, so if you do have some slightly higher spots, then that's something you can perhaps make a feature of later on. So don't worry about getting it absolutely immaculate like a, a fish pond on a really calm uh, day where there's no wind at all. This is a river, water's moving, so don't worry about it too much. And carefully not to go too far up the bridge supports there. You can see it's already starting to level out on the, on the river now. It's always worthwhile just moving your head around as you do this because the light will reflect some areas that you have missed that you can easily overlook. And you'll see that there were one or two little bits of uh, debris that were in the river previously um, prior to me starting this which um, we might be able to make into different effects, perhaps there's a little stone or a rock there that the river can be working its way around. So we'll leave those in. We can't do anything about that because that was already set in the resin that was there previously. But let me spread this product right up to the edge. Okay, so with that now done, it's time to wash out the brush, uh, let it dry for a bit, and then we'll start to add some little ripple effects. So we're now back the next day, it's 24 hours later, you can see the Aqua Magic has completely dried and that's because it was only just a small thin 2mm layer. Now as I mentioned earlier we can use different pigments as long as they're water based um, or even colours, paints to create water effects on the riverbed. <coughs> so I'm going to get some paint here, it's uh, light dust from Comart. Um, now the reason I'm not using white is because this river is fairly muddy as you can see and I think white would be too much of a stark contrast between the muddy uh, floor of the river and the white water on the surface so because that white water might be a little bit muddy I'm going to use an off-white here. If for instance your uh, river that you're trying to create is pristine and crystal clear then by all means go for a white but I think this is probably the, the more realistic of the colours to go for. So just a tiny bit in the bottom there not too much because we're not going to need too much on this project and as I mentioned earlier Aqua Magic will use this at the bottom and just mix it in with the two and this is going to colour this layer of Aqua Magic just a bit of a paintbrush there mix it all in and it'll retain that sheen that we get when you use it neat but just allow us to create some you know effects of where the water is being disturbed perhaps around the base of the bridge there and maybe there's one or two rocks that we might want to highlight. So just a tiny bit of the paint on the paintbrush there. Just going to use the corner of it. Let's get started. So we've now completed our river scene, you can see there's a little bit of white water action going on there, not too much, we tried to keep it as subtle as possible. 
And over here, if you note, just by the tents, I played around with some of the uh, effects with paints as well, just to create this um, almost like a frosted over puddle effect. So there you can see there's the puddle as it would be normally. And here we've got some that are sort of almost iced over a little bit um, with some of the paint. So it just goes to show that because this product can be mixed with paint, you can create different effects with it. Anyway, if you'd like to get hold of Aquamagic, the safe, no mixing, light UV stable product to create water, then visit your local deluxe material stockists. And don't forget it's available in this larger 250 milliliter and also a smaller 125 milliliter bottle. Um, check it out, give it a go, and uh, let's see some of your water effects on your layouts. Why not ask for Deluxe Materials Aquamagic by name, or simply visit our website.